And welcome back to Celebrity News. I'm Pete Allman. Today is a special day. It's a day dealing with kids. It's dealing with harmony. It's dealing with show business. I'm here with the former Knicks star, NBA player, Mr. Jerome Williams. And of course, to my left, Mr. Ron McCormick, the guru to the athletes, to get in shape, to make your body feel better, to make yourself live a better life. That's what it really is all about. Jerome is going to have me on the show. Thanks, Pete. I'm glad to be here. Celebrity news is where it's at. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm a celebrity. <laughs> well, you are. You are. Ron, how you doing? Good, good. Good seeing you, Pete. All right. Let's first start about, uh, first of all, I never knew that you were an actor, but you did a couple of movies, and obviously because of the fact that you are a basketball star and now helping kids, that, that does a lot. And one was a Disney movie. Let's talk about the movie a little bit and how you think it uh, motivated children, if you will, the Disney movie. Well, you know, that movie was just about, you know, kids just sticking with the program and uh, really giving it their all in, in life. And that's what sports generally, like, uh, pushes kids towards. You know, there's always going to be that competitive nature in the business world uh, when you get out of school. And sports is, is something that helps uh, not only business people, but young people grow to be competitive and uh, play the game the right way, you know, by the rules. And that's what that's what it's all about. So Full Court Miracle was a perfect movie for me to do because it really gave me that opportunity to show coaches and, and kids how to be um, not only the best they can do on the court, but, uh, you know, have fun doing it. Mm -hmm. I, I'll agree with that. Now you have a program that's endorsed by the NBA, the National Basketball Association, and also assembly, uh, the assemblymen here in Nevada. Uh, let's talk about how that's going to help kids of all nationalities. Well, you know, my nonprofit is called Positive Change of Black, and what we do uh, is we develop programs, and this particular program is called Basketball Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a program that I came up with, uh, it seemed like all my life I was in boot camp. Mm -hmm. My dad, my mom, they just kept me in boot camp, drawn to your homework, you know, uh, give it 110% while you play. And I'm just instilling those same things in my own program now that I've played in the NBA for nine years and I can give something back to the community. And, you know, most athletes of my stature, NBA players, don't have the time and uh, sometimes, you know, maybe not even the focus to actually go out and do, do these types of consistent programs with kids. But I know the importance of being able to not only say you're gonna do something, but I'll actually go out there and do it so the kids can see you, touch you, feel you, where they can really attach to what you're saying and really gain hope and strength that, hey, they can accomplish their goals. Maybe not be the next NBA star, but because of uh, the program and what I'm teaching them to do, the discipline, the dedication, and the determination of my 3D method, hey, they can go out and do anything and be anybody they wanna be. Well, see, you heard it first from Jerome Williams, you can do and be anything you want to be, but you must remember, Rome was not built in a day. It's called patience and it's called perseverance. And talk about perseverance, here's a man that taught me a little bit about perseverance, losing about, I don't know, 35 pounds, and that's Mr. Ron McCormick. <laughs> it's true. You're doing a great job, Pete. You know, it's in the, just all the basics of proper diet nutrition that we're just not trained in. Most of us are educated. Um, and things that the government wants us to learn, well, I teach different things. I teach about how to treat the body the way it needs to be treated, what nutrients your body actually needs. And that's all I've done for you, showing you what foods are alkaline and good for your body and which foods are bad for your body and very high in acid. Same with what I do with all the athletes, pro athletes, whether they be a fighter or NBA player or pro football player. It's about giving that body the nutrients it needs to perform at 100%. So you're not getting sick, so you're not developing disease such as cancer, diabetes, lupus, MS, Crohn's, on and on and on. Mm -hmm. So, and like Jerome was saying, you know, now it's go going back and getting our children educated the proper way. Uh, and it looks like Obama's gonna make some changes in our diet programs, you know, helping we're trying to redo the whole food pyramid and educate people on the proper diet that they should be having, not the old, I don't know when that pyramid was made, but it's very, very outdated and very inaccurate what the body needs. Um, so pretty excited stuff working with Jerome, with the kids now and the programs that, that they've instilled through the center, uh, with the, foot, the, the boot camps. Um, we're gonna be doing the seminars for them, educating all the our kids on that. Um, and I have to add that, you know, like Jerome was saying, when you teach these children about uh, being an athlete and growing up as an athlete, it makes all the difference in the world. I was. I feel that, you know, grew up as an athlete, I played ball, football, basketball, you know, I, I, I did that and it really instilled uh, 
a teamwork and it made me be a go-getter to, to start my own business, to be a nutritionist, to do what I've done, even though I couldn't, I didn't have, I wasn't 6'9", <laughs> and, and, and I couldn't do a double slam behind the back, you know, I, I was still successful even though I wasn't in the NBA because of, of what I believe that sports brought to me in my life. It made me uh, uh, a responsible person, made me uh, a go-getter, and, and what actually what to do, what, what I, I wanted in life, and I found my calling, and that was nutrition and diet, not just, um, uh, you know, playing ball on the weekends. But it's been very, very inspirational, and now it's really inspirational helping children become healthy and hopefully achieve their goals. And, and what's great, what Jerome did touch on, is they're big on helping educate the children as well. So it's 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 a big program that we're all really excited to be a part of. Uh, it's going to be a big, big year, and, and I hope anyone that wants to get involved can, can contact us to be involved somehow. Okay, you also are working with a couple of athletes. There's a number of them, but two that people know from the UFC mixed martial arts is Mr. Dewey Cooper. And and then you have a lady fighter. Let's talk about her because she's undefeated, as I understand. Well, yeah, Jessica Ricosi is actually she's a six-time world champion, mm -hmm. uh, pro boxer. She's the top female boxer in the world. Uh, very, very incredible fighter. Uh, Dewey Cooper, he's an MMA kickboxer and boxing champion. This guy has all three. One of only two people in the world that's ever accomplished all three uh, arts. Um, you know, so he's he's training very hard in in the gym constantly every day. Uh, we work with a lot of other uh, UFC fighters. They do diets for a lot of them. Um, it, it, again, fighters know, uh, just like the basketball players and football players know, your body can only accomplish what you put into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like you, you've made these positive changes in your diet, and now look what ha has happened. The body fat's disappeared, the energy level's increased, you feel better, you're not sick. It, it's all about what you put in your body. You can only produce what you, what you feed it. If you feed your body, just like you go, 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 go to a gas station, are you going to put half gas, half water in your fuel tank? <laughs> well, the car won't run too well. Same with your body. When you fill it full of sugar and soda pop and bread and all this crap, it doesn't run very well and it gets sick. But you feed high quality nutrients, good fruits and fiber and, and vegetables, it runs incredible. So it's a nine day difference just by getting that good quality nutrition. That's what that's what we're big on this year. We're going to get everyone trained really well with a good, good basketball program. Uh, and good education program. We're real excited to our partnership together that we, we just uh, signed in together recently and it's a good synergistic uh, relationship. It's going to be great. We've got a lot of energy going out here. I'm just so pumped as we talk to you and educate you but there's a couple of other important things that we want to uh, share with you while we're here in the, you hear a little beep in the background. We're at a party but we're also at the same time we're at a party. We're uh, at a place that deals with nutrition and of course that nutrition is Pure Form Labs right here in Henderson. Now we're going to talk about two things that are very important to our society. Number one is the environment and the emissions that go into the air from cars. And number two will be pets, because everybody loves pets. We'll first go into the environment. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has an apparatus on his car and it increases gas mileage by 50%. It's Go Green, Go Cal Bay, the Cal Bay Corporation. And at the same time, it reduces the emissions. Obviously, not everybody's going to buy an electric car. But obviously, we can do some things to make a change in our environment for the future of our children. Your thoughts on that, Jerome? Well, you know, being uh, having a lot to do with the auto industry, you know, I've really been backing a lot of the products that have been coming out in terms of being more fuel efficient cars, electric vehicles, hybrids. They also have the uh, hydrogen vehicles that GM had a chance to test drive um, were great. And I think that it really just comes to the point where as a society, we do have to make that decision and be conscious of what we're doing to our planet, what we're doing to the environment. And as soon as we can just get over the hump of getting out of the norm and into the new, um, I think that's gonna be a huge thing. My, my first project that I was gonna do this year I was going to take my 64 Impala, it's like a $125,000 renovation car, take take the engine out of it, God forbid, <laughs> yes. and install an electric engine. And, you know, I thought of that idea just because, you know, I love my old school cars, mm -hmm. and I think that that's what our generation is pretty much based on, is our history in the automobile industry. So they need to see how we can take our history and convert it into what we now need as a society, which is more fuel efficiency and uh, environment.